What's up everybody, you're on deck with Third Eye Cam. Today's date, July 29, 2022. Time is 11.31. I'm in Colonial Heights and um, just about to start moving around. Just want to show you all the skies real quick. So this is my east. This is my north. And look at my west. Planets are approaching. And that's my east. So we got a whole field from west, direct across the earth from west. To east covering the south like a blanket of asteroids um there's one right here above the treetop i saw him coming in and there's a planet right here where is it yeah right on top of me it was a round orb there it is it's right here um it's gonna cross behind the sun or just gonna cross behind the sun there's an asteroid right there but this blanket is going all the way out northwest that's northwest um, there's a planet right there, right here. I know there's something right here, probably an asteroid. Look at this forming up like a triangle. A little clunky asteroid. But see all this white behind that? That's the, what we call that false sky look. By the time everything passes over. Um, the whole sky changes. And we're going to be on this all day. And there's an asteroid right here. See these little sweeps? Like somebody swept. Uh, across it or that's the format from the asteroid right there you know, yeah we got big planets and asteroids coming that's a clunky one like this one right here let me get in close to it I can't really see my phone but I'm pointing this general direction this is the asteroid and that's the dark side of it see the sun is hitting the top of it and that's why I said the sun is right here in the neighborhood see, let me get back to it see how the sun is hitting the top of it and then that bottom part portion uh, you gotta understand there are cloud layers also over the top and the, the, the stack of clouds is coming off the top of it. Am I still in there? Yeah, here we go. The stack of clouds is coming off the top of it or causing a shadow over the bottom, all right? So you see that? Oh yeah, the, my bigger planet. Oh, it's passing over right now. It's right behind the sun. Look at that. So, if I could block the sun out, that whole planet is passing right. Let me, let me see if I'm back all the way. Whole planet is passing right behind the sun. Because my thumb is bigger. That's your whole planet passing over the sun. And I didn't think to do this in my other videos. Yep, whole big planet passing behind our sun. Can you see it? Whole planet passing behind our sun. And there's one of its moon asteroids right there and then there's a string following up behind it asteroid right here here and then all this is accompanying accompanying the bigger planet but this is our regular sky then if, uh, as i lift up you can see how the blue starts changing because that's a shadowing and whatever else is past that we can't see coming off of something big and even look at the horizon <laughs> this is our earth sky right here all this and like I said, watch them rays up. Gets dark blue. Oh, here's another planet right here. See these little swirls coming off of it? And that's what that little asteroid is, the one I showed you. So it's got a bigger planet right here. It's got little swirls popping off of it, going around that planet. Like they like wave up and then go around it. There's another moon, see? Boom, right there. Zoom in on it. I'm telling you, these things are coming through. I feel the sovereignness for those idiots that keep screaming, no sky fillers. Because they're going to, it, it, this is how intricate it's going to get. Imagine going to God and, and then he asking you, so why did you doubt me? And you say, excuse me, Lord. Excuse me, Lord. I didn't, I didn't understand the question. You know, I'm going, I'm going to, why did you doubt me? When, when I sent 
the download through the one that you call Third Eye Kim and you doubted by saying that there were no sky fillers, I made the sky fillers. I'm just saying that that's, you know, something that God probably was saying and this guy's gonna flip out. And I'm gonna just look at him and be like, look, see, way beyond you. You come with all this foolishness. You are very foolish. But yeah. See my bigger planet is still crossing. Oh, there it is. See, here it is. It's already passed behind the sun. See it? Get the sun out of there. So that's my bigger planet that came through earlier. Alright. We got people pulling up next to me trying to figure out what I'm doing. And this, like I said, here's my other planet right here. See that right there? Oh, and then there's one right there. Where's the other one? I lost it. Oh, there it is. Right here. So one, two, three, four. Five is past the sun or behind me. That's all I can see so far. That's all I can see. So yeah, five major bodies. This one's huge. You can actually see it. Like literally, it's right there. It's approaching me. And then there's a smaller one over here. Like I said. And then um, where's the other one? I keep losing all this this little swoosh one right here it's like following this big one right here and this this one is following the even bigger one that's right here that's already passing over still behind the sun but passing over and then there's an earth cloud see this is an earth cloud this is forming up from all that because you got to understand this stuff is reaching into our atmosphere then way out here i see where is it way out here i see something like a smaller moon a bunch of them those are small asteroid or geoid moons. They're kind of between geoids and asteroids. Like I said, they all look smooth and pearly. The the uh, moons and the geoids. The geoids look kind of clunky. Get they got um, what you call it in them craters. The asteroids are of course bigger, cratered. Then our planets are really smooth, like this one. You can barely you can see it, but it looks like a big pearl in the sky. And then that smaller moon, where is it? I tell you, these cloud layers keep making them go away. But yeah, you can definitely see this one. It's smooth right here, just in the middle. It's got a smooth uh, surface, and it's got clouds vaping up over the top of it that are reaching towards the sun. They're burning, getting burnt by the sun. Uh, where else? Oh, that's the asteroid right by the pole. That's the asteroid or moon type deal. Yeah, that's, that's, it's kind of cubical looking. You can see the surface is on it. It's round, but you can see the, the way the clouds are dripping off. Yeah, but all this is coming. In. Oh, there's a big planet, right? Freaking there. See it? Let me zoom in. It's just surfaced up. Yep, that's our bigger planet. They're always in a cloudy cover. And it irks me because I want y'all to see it, what I'm seeing. I mean, my camera's going to show better because it's high depth, but my eyes can see it just as clear. <sighs> all right. I'm going to go ahead and pull that for now. I'm going to let my... my uh, My G Pro key getting all this, and I'm gonna roll out, and we'll come back and tap on whatever uh, should pop up. Look, and there's the Mr. Magics. Yeah, but these things are right here, all in right here in the neighborhood, just like our sun, not 93 million miles away. And there's my bigger one right here. See? Let me see. Make sure my camera's all all the way. And that's number six, and Big Planet seven. And there's eight. Okay, there's eight right there. And there's more out there. I just, I, those are the only ones I'm seeing. These things are moving fast. All right, we'll be back. Third eye. Poof.